Look at this, guys. Genuine frost, once again. We're all ready to get loaded here. Off we go. Another run. Whoever is uh, needing this stuff down in North Dakota needs a lot of it. I think there's five of us going back and forth every day. Maybe six, at least five. I think, maybe four. What do I know? One, two, three, four. No, there's five, isn't there? So I'm arriving at the US border here and my paperwork has not cleared customs yet. So I'm gonna pull into duty free and wait. It should be just a few minutes, but a couple of the guys this week have had to wait like an hour. Last week I had to wait about an hour or two once, but I've been pretty lucky up until now that my paperwork's been cleared by the time I get here. It has to be cleared pretty quick because we only get loaded and send the paperwork in in Carmen, which is only an hour from here, if that, yeah, about an hour. So I'll send the paperwork in, get it cleared, get it sent back to us, get it sent to the border within an hour. It, it's quite a race in the morning for the people in the office and the brokers. They do a pretty good job, but uh, sometimes it gets a little bit delayed. Today is one of those sometimes. Hopefully it won't be too long. Legendary. It's right on their sign now. You can't miss it. 
Sometimes I wonder what they mean by that, like, be legendary. That's a lot of pressure, North Dakota. What's your definition of legendary? Well, I'll try, I'll try. Uh, two kilometers, one and a half miles. And we're there. Once again, another day, we got one. I think we got another one tomorrow, just like every other day. I'm like, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I only find out like later in the afternoon. I don't know how many of these loads there are in total. Maybe they don't even know in the office. Maybe they only know as as they come in or as they're requested or, or ordered. Sometimes they they call it ordering a truck. When you have a load for us to order a truck to show up. Just painted it. Here's the owner right here. Meet Ernie. I'm Ernie. Nice truck. So it used to be red. He just had it painted. I think that was a good choice. You got the paparazzi over here. Paparazzi over here. <laughs> Come and work for Hollywood. I mean Keystone. Yes. <laughs> I've uh, I've shouted out his Instagram before. I'll leave it in the comment section again, or right, in the description as well. Yeah. Give me the new thumbnail. This is where I get my thumbnails from. He's pretty cheap, you know, five thousand dollars a picture. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, but that that that's um that's a low quality picture. If you want the HD, then you gotta pay double. I'm cheap, I know. workers is Mike rolling up his straps over there
home for a long weekend for Canadian Thanksgiving. What did I say? One home kilometer. For a week? Keep to the left on long Fort weekend. Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Karen, I'm trying to think. We go home for a long weekend. <laughs> Monday is Thanksgiving. So next week we'll be starting on Tuesday. Won't know what we're doing next week until possibly tomorrow afternoon. I'm hoping by tomorrow afternoon we'll know what we're doing then, but uh, day by day, right? Back to the land of defective LED streetlights. There's so many purple ones around the border here. They gotta replace those. I wonder if they're on warranty. I bet you they are. I bet you they are. I bet they can send them back to the manufacturer. They're not supposed to turn purple like that. Well, we're back in Canada. Go back, sleep at Carmen for one more night. And this weekend's actually gonna be a pretty busy weekend because it's Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving means you go and spend time with family and you eat lots of food and turkey. So Saturday we got a gathering, Sunday we got a gathering, Monday we got a gathering, and I'm hoping that Saturday morning I might be able to relax a little bit. <laughs> Other than that, it's gonna be busy running around. It's sort of like Christmas time, but it's Thanksgiving time. Another day done. So tomorrow, we wake up right here, we'll get loaded, we'll do it all over again, except we're gonna be in a big rush tomorrow. Big rush. We gotta go home at the end of the day tomorrow. So instead of coming back here, we go home. Then I'll be home till next Tuesday. Looking forward to that. So it'll be a little bit of a, uh, I think, you know, Usually I, I stick to around 60 to 65 mile an hour. Tomorrow definitely gonna be a 65 mile an hour day. At least. We are gonna get tomorrow done as fast as possible so that we can get home and enjoy the weekend. It's, it's gonna be a busy weekend. Was, you know, long weekends don't mean you get a, you know, relax. Long weekends usually mean it's some kind of holiday or you know, something like that. Not that I'm complaining, because there's a lot of good food waiting for me this weekend. So like I was saying earlier, Saturday we have one family gathering. Sunday we have another family gathering. And then Monday we have another family gathering. And then it's back to work. So this weekend will be rushed around, but next weekend will maybe be more relaxing. I'm going to tell Britt that you know the 16th i don't think we have any plans for next weekend next weekend like after this one i want to just relax chill watch some tv go hang out at the shop for a bit and tinker on the truck just a weekend with no plans it's gonna be good looking forward to it I just got to clear it by the boss back at home, but I, I think she'll go for it. Okay, I got to certify my log books here, send them into the office. See, we used to, when we were on paper logs, so you used to always have to go and hand in all your paper logs. The one good thing about e-logs is, boom, all my logs are handed in now. I don't have to, like, keep those papers. The e-log thing, that's a conversation we should have in a whole video on its own. I mean, I would rather be on paper logs, but e-logs haven't really slowed me down. They haven't gotten in the way. You gotta be a little more careful because as soon as you move the truck, you kick it into driving on the on e-log the e and you can't change that. You're driving. You can't be like, oh, whoops. 
you gotta call the office for them to change the driving part. You can change anything else, like edit anything else, but not the driving. So there's, it, you gotta be more careful, but it, I haven't had a problem with it really. I have, I always, like I, it hasn't bothered me that much. I have nothing to say about it either way. I'm like, oh, this is what we're doing now. I could go over the pros and cons of it in another vlog sometime or in another video all on its own. So there's definitely some bad things about e-logs and some uh, good things about paper logs that uh, we can go over. But I'm tired. I'm going to go put this all together for you back there. Thanks for joining me today. I don't know what we're doing next week yet. We're going to do one more Wapton tomorrow and then I don't know if I'm still going to keep doing this next week. If they want me to, uh, I will make myself available for that. Uh, but we'll find that out maybe tomorrow afternoon. Sleep well, everybody. Or I guess you're not going to bed. I'm going to bed. Uh, I hope I sleep well. I'll end it like that. Good night.